Good morning everyone. Welcome back. It's lovely to have you with me again today. So can I just remind you of your own personal fitness, just to be um, mindful of how your body is feeling and just of any injuries, any recent surgery. If you think that there, you may be pregnant or have recently been pregnant, check with your GP before doing any of our classes. So with that in mind, I want you just to lift the shoulders back and down. And I want you just to think, you're just going to rock forward and back. So I just want you to think of that stable hip alignment, your pelvis, your core are stable. And just let your body weight rock forward. You can raise those arms up and back. And as you gently feel, so automatically when we come into a balance, we're firing up our powerhouse, we're firing up our core. So just rocking the heels off the floor, lifting the toes, lifting the heels. And if you want to increase this, as you draw your body up, stretch a little bit further. You may want to come off your mat. You may be a little bit wobbly like me. You might be better than me. So remember, it's not about me, it's about you. So you just work with how you're feeling and release. And just draw your arms to the side. And I want you just to think of just lifting the back heel, just mobilizing the waist, the obliques. And as you turn from side to side, just let your neck roll side to side as well. And you just feel the mobilization of that neck. Excellent, well done. Just mobilizing everything. And then I just want you to cross one leg behind the other. And I want you to think of, I'll turn to the side. So heels are planted to the floor. And I want you to think of hinging from the hips. You're getting a lovely flat back. Now, if that's too difficult, bend the knees so you're not getting as deep a stretch into your hamstrings. If not, keep your back flat and just bring those fingers down to the floor. Let the head come down to the floor if you can. Crown of the head facing down. Let the palms fall onto, sorry, not the palms, the fingers rest on the floor if you can. Feel the full length. And then if you feel, you can stretch a little bit better. The palms of those hands can just come into the floor. And really feel a deep stretch into the glutes, into the bottom, the lower back, the mid back. Stretching a little bit further as you feel your muscles lengthening. Bend those knees, remember, if you need to. You don't have to get your hands on the floor. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come up one vertebra at a time. So cross your legs the opposite way this time. Okay, so your legs are crossed the opposite way. Soles of the feet are to the floor. And then I'll just show you from this position, hinging at the hips, gaze of the eyes is coming forward. And just see how you feel on this side of the body. So you may not be able to let your fingers rest on the floor, or this may be your ultra flexible side. You may be able to just suddenly come down Press the soles of the hands, so the palm of the hands, into the floor and really stretching those hamstrings, those bottoms, the side glute formation on one side. And then slowly, slowly, slowly come back up. Excellent. Just draw those little heels together into your Pilates position. And I want you just to think either of placing your hands onto your hips or you can have them up to the side of the head. And I want you to think of just lifting one heel, pressing it in, and then the other. So really drawing those shoulder blades back, away from your head, just alternating those heels, lifting up, just warming into the inside of those thighs. And then, if you feel you can, really working into the strengthening of the ankles, just lifting your knees out away from the body, staying on your tippy toes, then plant your heels but keep those knees out. Lift the heels away and plant them. So either you can stay in this position, you keep going, or as you come up, you can bend down, flatten the 
heels and squeeze the legs together. So remember the position of your chin, it's not tucked into your chest, it's not up to the sky. Here's if the eyes is facing forward. You can lift those knees and just slowly place the heels down, squeeze those ankles together. Or stay in this position, dropping and lifting. Really squeezing the knees out, pressing the heels down. Lovely, well done. Now holding it here and just draw your tailbone down, really working the tops of these thighs here into the back of the bottom, hands open, chest is open, heart is open, smile, you're setting aside time to improve your muscular strength and endurance, your flexibility, your balance and release well done so now i want you just to think of drawing the elbow down towards the hip so same side coming into our pilates side bend really engaging those heels together squeezing into the side of the body so really automatically working into those transverse abdominals into our obliques into the lower back the lumbar spine and hold this one just stretch a little bit further down fingers down towards your feet elbow up towards the sky or if you want to you can extend that arm up above or wrap it round the back and just place it underneath stretch a little bit more and slowly come up now take your counter stretch arm that was behind your back just wrap it around and take the other one behind and just looking over that shoulder. So if you can, you can just touch the elbow on one side and the elbow on the other, increasing your shoulder mobility. And then bringing those hands back up, so realign, draw your shoulder blades back. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. Lovely flat back, tuck the tailbone under, pelvis and hips are still. Hands up at the side of the head, and then you're coming into the other side of the body. So as you stretch down, think of yourself nice and flat, as flat as my mat. So like two Pilates mats on top of each other, you're just sandwiched in the middle, so keep yourself really spelt. Remember, be proud of yourself, you're queen for a day, let or king for a day. As you come up, You've got that little crown on your head, keep it shining up towards the sky. And then hold this one down. So the elbow that's still attached to your head, this one here, your elbow shining up, really squeezing into the side of the body. And you can stretch a little bit more, try not to wobble over like me. You can lengthen that opposite arm up if you want. Stretch it round behind the body. You want to really open into that shoulder and then coming up take the arm that was behind wrap it around you take the other one the other way and look over that shoulder so lovely spinal rotation great for digestion if you've just had your breakfast or if you're doing this at another time of the day your lunch your dinner and lovely for that spine excellent well done so now i just want you to separate the feet and i want you just to round the shoulders so coming into your standing cat cow and then open your chest so as you from the side arching up draw the head down gaze at the eyes between your thighs and as you rise up open your chest and just squeeze those shoulder blades together soften your knees as you come forward so really working into the back into the belly, into the shoulders, full mobilization of the body, and stretching up, just bring those hands round, place them at the back of your spine, and think of drawing those shoulder blades together, squeezing into the chest, and then as you come back, draw your hands together, and just looking down as if you're hugging a big Pilates ball, or a gorgeous person in your dreams and release well done so i want you just to come down one knee and 
and then the other knee. So we're going to just progress this movement into our side bend again with a little variation just to work more into the shoulders into the upper back. So when you're kneeling on your knees, if you have bad knees and this is not comfortable for you, you can just come in to your mermaid position or you can sit with your legs crossed like this. So you work with your body, you know how your knees feel. I'm just showing you the options, okay? If you're on your knees, obviously you're going to be working a lot more into the core section of the body. So you're going to have this all fully engaged. Whereas if you're sitting down, legs crossed, just be mindful that you're not slumping. To keep your back really, really straight, okay? Now, I'm going to turn around so you can see my arms. I want you to lift up, cross and cross. So you've got a little X position. The elbows are shining up towards the ceiling. Now, I don't want this chin tucked in. So keep your crown of your head. Remember, queen or king for the day? Wear your crown, your tiara with pride. Now, if you're on your knees, squeeze those knees together. Squeeze your inner thighs and you're automatically working into those glutes as well. Now we're just going to take it into a side bend, but this time you're not going to be able to go as far as if you were standing. If you're sitting like this, remember, keep the elbows up and just tilt into the waist. So really focusing on the stability of the hips, just really taking that bend slightly into the side with our X arms, so you're getting a nice work into those shoulders as well. Now on this one, I want you to hold it out, stretch both arms parallel away, lean a little bit more, keep your head in the center of your arms, and come up. Now cross your arms the opposite way, so if you had right or left in front, you change over, and then we're going to take it into the other side. So as you bend to the side, this is what I do. I want to say, yeah. I don't want these hips going out to the side, okay? Look, my hips are really stable. My pelvis is in neutral. And you're just tilting and squeezing over to the side. Elbows still shining up. Thank goodness I'm not shaming myself with them. Um, little uh, spiders or anything underneath my armpits. Really shouldn't have said that. Now you're focusing on my armpit hair. And hold over, stretch those arms, head between the arms. Oh, you've got to laugh at yourself, don't you? You can't take yourself too seriously. And come up. Well done. Excellent. Cross those arms again. Okay. Take them up and cross the opposite direction. Take them up so crisscrossing the backs of those hands, so you're placing them onto your shoulder blades, up to the sky, and then across the other way. If, remember, keep the head up, so just really working on the mobility of the shoulders, crossing the opposite way, and then extend. So just bring one up, and really release any tension you may have felt, and as you Bring one arm behind you and one arm in front. Really think of lengthening through those fingertips. Beautiful. Stroking the back of your ponytail or your head or giving your ear a little itch. Well done. And if you can, as you take one behind you, draw that arm up and think of connecting those fingers. If they don't meet, you can always use something to, I should have had something here to show you, but even just if you have, this isn't even, you know, something like this, if your mobility is really bad, you can just hold like that, or you can have a piece of dressing gown rope, think of lengthening the shoulder up to the sky, and the other one you might be able to increase it and shake hands with yourself. Head is up towards the ceiling, and then change over other side, Lovely, well done. And release. Okay, so just coming onto your bottom, bring your hands behind you, fingers towards your little bottom, and I want you just to think of straightening that back. So we're going to work still on those arms into your triceps. So fingers towards your bottom, and as you draw those elbows towards each the floor, sorry, think of drawing them also towards each other. 
So try not to let your elbows go out to the side, okay? Keep a nice flat back and draw the elbows down, forearm down towards the floor, elbows down towards the floor. So you're really working into these triceps. Now, your option is to lift these feet off the floor or coming up into your reverse table. So I want you just to look at yourself. If you're doing this in front of a mirror, that would be great, but obviously we're not in the studio, so we probably don't have one. Feet, if you look at me, ankles on your knees. A lovely 90 degree. Now, don't let your bottom drop. I want you to keep your bottom really high, and I want you to think of bending those elbows. So obviously when you bend your elbows, look at mine, they're going out wide. You might want to walk them in. And your bottom will naturally drop. So you work, play with it and see how you feel. Walk your hands out and then push up. So as your bottom lowers with those arms, I want you to think of pressing the bottom down to the floor. And as you do, it's a reverse table, a reverse bridge, pushing up, re-squeezing the belly button up towards the sky, squeezing the back of the bottom. Now lift one knee into a 90 degree position and drop. Other knee and drop. Now this is your option. You stay here and keep going. If this is too intense, you can come down onto your bottom. Just lift one leg up and down. So this is your modification. Point your toe. And if you are on your bottom for the whole of this exercise, you're still supporting your own body weight, working into those triceps. Or you can add a tricep bend and a knee lift. Bend the triceps or stay in your table position, lifting. Hopefully, those who were in their table position have kept going. And now, for those of you who are really advanced, lift both knees into your chest. Now, I'm going to joke <laughs> that would be even hard. But instead, your option is to lift your arm and twist round as if you're going to touch the fingers on the opposite hand. Now, look at that beautiful side rotation. Bring your arm back and change over. So as you twist the body and bring it back, really working into back strengthening, shoulder strengthening, waist strengthening, really intense. Breathing out as you twist round. Excellent. Oh, really feel the side of the body. Really feel these shoulders too and relax. Just bring your bottom down. You may want to just take that arm across the chest, stretching either above or below the elbow, just not on the elbow. Brilliant, you're doing amazing, right? Eh? Looking really strong. And then the other side, stretch it as well. Super. Okay. Now, your option is to come onto the backs of the forearms. If you're really feeling fatigued and those shoulders are ready, very strong work, you might have sore wrists, anybody with arthritis or pains there from doing all of that, this is your option. Hands flat on the floor, elbows under shoulders, okay? Now, again, we're going to come back in, in fact, to this table position. Your option is to lift one knee, place it down, lift the other knee and place it down. If that's still jarring in your shoulders, guys, just lift and lower from this position, okay? Those of you who are strong in the arms, well down your Pilates journey, you may feel that you can work either with fingers towards the bottom or fingers away. You decide. But this time, I want you to think of coming up. Now, we're going to lift the opposite leg as we did, and we're going to reach the opposite hand. So stretching across, breathing out, Woo! and if you wobble like me, don't worry, sure it's a bit of fun, having fun in your workout, when you have fun in your workout, it makes it enjoyable, so you can laugh at the instructor falling over, that is no problem, luckily I can't hear you, so you're just reaching forward, now hold this one, pulse, 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 try not to let the bottom drop, if you're like me, take a break, Keep going if you're better than me, and then stretch over, woo! I think my modification would be to do this. So work with your 
yourself, don't be ashamed, it's not a pride. The only thing that is affected and injured is your body, not your ego. And release. So just lie right the way back, take a full body stretch, fingers and toes away. My goodness, I'm breathless, working the heart and lungs there as well. Bit of cardio, folks, excellent. And then if your modification were coming into a roll up, your modification is to plant the soles of the feet on the floor, knees are soft. Now, if you're thinking of drawing your arms up off the floor, tuck your chin to your chest and coming into your seat curve. Now, if at this point your abs are not strong enough, you just stay here and just roll back down. So you're coming into your seat curve, roll to your binding point and then coming back down. If your core is strong, you can extend those legs, flex the feet, or point them away to start with. Roll the chin into the chest, round the head, neck, and shoulders, come into your C curve, and then coming forwards, flex the toes into your spine, stretch forward. Backs of the knees are pressed into the mat, then lift it up, and then slowly sink into your C curve, and then roll all the way back. Point your toes. Draw your chin to your chest, roll your head, neck and shoulders, feel every vertebrae lifting off the floor, lifting up, flex those toes, hinging at the hips, a nice flat back, and as you come forward, really think of extending the crown of the head towards those flexed toes, draw your chest down towards those knees, press the backs of the legs into the floor, point your toes and lift up, Chin to chest, round, hump and hollow the back, and draw yourself back. Remember that modification, guys. If you're really feeling this, just come to here, hold, and draw back. You're supposed to be using your abs, so what I don't want to see is you doing this. <laughs> and that was an exaggeration, but I know that you won't be doing that. Okay, yes, mother dear, hooray, you sometimes do that, you better not shame you. So point your toes, last one, roll up. You know, I think you've got so much stronger, Mum, in all the values you can do in lockdown. Lengthening up, leaning forward, I've gone the opposite way, and lost my core strength. Flex those feet, draw your chin down towards your chest, and feel the full length of that spine. Excellent. And release, just bring it up. Draw your knees in and just come back into your roll position. Now we've done our reverse table, so now it's time for our standard Pilates original table top or bridge position. So let's just think of drawing the shoulders into the mat. Lower back is imprinted into the floor. Tuck your tailbone under and slowly just think of peeling each of those vertebrae off the floor one at a time. Now you're really lifting into the glutes, pushing the hip bones up towards the ceiling, hold for a little moment and then slowly, slowly, slowly come back down again. Excellent guys, brilliant. Lovely mobilisation, taking the spine up, really working the backs of the legs. Now try not to let those knees fall out, keep them in towards each other with a little even space. And on this next one, I want you to really hold it up. Now, if you have, you need to maybe put your hands underneath and hold your bottom. If you need to do that to support your back, you can do that, okay? If you don't, don't, but give your bottom a little poke. It's your bottom, you own it. Poke it, say it. Have you got your glutes engaged? If not, why on earth not? Tighten them. Now, I want you to walk those heels out, one, and the other. Take them a little bit further, one, and the other. Now don't let that bottom drop. Hold here, lift it higher. And then draw your heel back. And then the other. Now don't just drag it, lift it. The other. And then slowly, slowly come back down out of your bridge. Just tuck the tailbone under. Lift the bottom up. Palms can face up if you want to extend the arms behind you. Palms facing up to sky, arms parallel. Now lift your heel, don't slide it, that's cheating. Slide, sliding is cheating. Keep it here or take it even further away. 
Don't let the bottom drop. Mind it a little bit. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. And then lift, draw back in. Lift, draw back in. And slowly come back down. We're going to do that one more time. You are amazing. Keep going. Excellent. Really lift the bottom. Now focus on the flex tail. Focus on dragging it off the floor. Let me see it lift. Don't slide it. Hold it here. Now lower with the toes and up. Keep the toes down. Lift and lower the bottom. Remember, if you don't like your arms in this position, bring them down to the side of your body. I'm just showing you lots of progression. Now bring your heels back in. Either set the tailbone down if you need to, or lift onto the toes this time. Heels and lift the toes. So you might need to walk it out a little bit. You're on your heels. Press the toes and lift the heels. Heels down, toes up, toes down, heels up. So you work with your ankle mobility. Suzanne, I'm thinking of you and my brother. Strengthening those broken ankles takes a long time. Keep going, have the perseverance to overcome. Your physical is easier healed than your mental. Overcome your difficulties in your body and also in your mind. Let it come down. Bring one knee into your chest and then the other knee. Just slowly circle that spine along the floor. Excellent. And change direction. Other side. Well done. Excellent. So whilst your knees are here, bring them up to tabletop position. Just take them out so that they're not in over your hips and tummy, but take them out a wee bit away from you. Okay? So knees are in that 90 degree position. Okay, now, I want you to think of bringing your chin off the floor in towards your chest. Sorry, shoulders off the floor, hands facing down. And we're gonna come into our Pilates 100. So we're breathing, we're really focusing on getting fire in the belly. So keep squeezing the back of into the floor, draw your belly button down, keep pumping those hands. Now, I'm talking so I can't count, but I want you to count in for, ten, in for five, and out for five. In, two, three, four, out. In, and out. Keep pumping. This is Joseph Pilates' very first movement in his 34 classical movements to get the heart and lungs going. Keep pumping those arms. Now I want you to straighten the legs up to the ceiling, if you can, or stay with what you were doing. Keep the toes pointed. Keep pumping those hands. Keep counting. Now, if you want to progress it further, take your legs out into your 45 degree angle. Keep pumping those hands, I'm talking. You're counting. You stop if you've got to your 100. Now, then I want you to bring those knees back into tabletop. Okay? Keep pumping. Keep counting. We must be at least to 50. Draw the legs up. Point the toes. 45 degrees. Hold it, hold it, hold it here, and slowly lower. Take a full body stretch. Excellent, well done, brilliant. And now your option is to bend those knees again. Lengthen one leg up straight to the ceiling, and lengthen the other to the floor. So this is one leg. I'll bring my hands down here. Or keep that knee bent, okay? We're going to take the opposite arm out to the side and we're going to reach over towards the ankle. So this is level one or towards the toe. So we're working into that side of the body again. Lifting up and stretching over. Level two, straighten the leg. Stretching it over. Stretching across. Level three, hover that leg across or above the floor, stretching over. You're not going to be able to reach your toe. Hold this one here and swap the legs. So either have that one bent, swap the arms. Other arm can be at the side. So leg can be straight, this leg bent on the floor. Remember the hip mobility will be different. Or hover it, stretch across on this side. See how it feels. Reaching towards that opposite ankle. We'll do four more. 
Point your toes. Three, two, and one. Well done. Lengthen both legs up. Just grab the backs of those legs. Bend them into your chest and then straighten them up. Bend them into your chest and lengthen. Now if you want to, lift the head, neck and shoulders off the floor and take the hands away. Bring them up towards your head. Bend, lower them down towards the ground. Bend and bring them in and straighten. Lower the legs, draw them in. So it's like a little bicycle option. Keep the head on the floor, draw the legs down. The lower you take them, or if that's too difficult, you can just go for up and in. Straighten them up as we did at the start, and then in. Or lower them down and lift the head. Draw the knees in, extending up. Excellent, guys. This is brilliant. Little double bicycle. And last one. And release. Full body stretch. Fingers and toes away. You're amazing. Just bending those knees and just dropping your knees down to one side of the body. Okay. So, I want you to come onto your sideline position. Now, your option is have a little pillow or towel in underneath your head or come up onto the side of the body with your elbow underneath or have yourself in the middle of position like this, okay? Legs are stacked, toes are pointed. I want you to lift both legs off the floor with pointed toes and I want you just to scissor those legs. So slow and controlled, sliding one forward and the other back. Now, try not to do that. So this is why I have this hand here, because I know I need it. If you've got a really strong, stable core or if you're down here, you may be able to lift that hand off the floor. Non-competitive, you work with your body. Slowly scissoring those legs, forwards and back. Now let's speed it up a little bit, but keep stability in the hips and pelvis. I don't want to see rocking and rolling in the hips. Keep it for Saturday night. Now, cross and cross. So crisscross those legs in front and behind. Really working on the inner and outer thighs for four, for three, two, and one. Now either keep your legs up or take a rest. Give your bottom a little laugh, give it a little slap at your bottom, you're allowed to. Or if you're still up here, well done. Draw the knees in and push them away. So a bit like our bicycle, only we're drawing the knees into the chest. And I hope you're not asleep, my dog's lying there having to be snooze. And then bringing those knees in. Now, if you can, Drop the knees down into your position. Push yourself up into your side plank. So this can be on your elbow, knees in front of your chest, shins are in front and their ankles are together. Or your knees can be level with your hips like this and you can lift and lower those hips. So you decide what's more comfortable for you. On your elbow, lifting and lowering, or if you want to progress it, coming up to your hand. And we're just in our little half side plank. So just see how that feels in that position with both knees stacked. Options then are to extend that leg. Lift the hip with one leg extended. Remember this hand can go up to the head. Or full side plank, legs either staggered one in front of the other as you lift and lower those hips. Or if you want, you keep going, you can stack those feet on top of each other and lift and lower like that. One more. And release. Well done. Excellent. So, you can roll onto your tummy. Bring your hands in 
elbows into your prone position, coming into your cobra stretch, draw those shoulders away from your ears, lift your breastbone up a little bit and feel the stretch in your back. If you want to push those hands further forward, lift your chest up a little bit more and then draw those hands in, push yourself up and come into your child's pose stretch. So, fingers away, bottom down towards your heels. And then I want you to come into your little three-quarter plank, press those hip bones forward, and then draw the heels back. So coming into your little three-quarter plank, 45 degree angle with the hips, draw the tailbone back. You keep going, my music's making funny noises, I don't like it. Oh, here it is here. I don't like that song, it's not very nice. We'll go into the next one. There we go, that's better. So keep drawing those heels, those bottoms to your heels, and then coming into your three-quarter plank. And on this next one, I want you to hold your three-quarter plank and draw those heels towards you and hover them. So point your toes, really balancing, challenging your upper body strength as well. If those wrists are sore, remember, come down onto your elbows and just draw those little feet in. So draw your feet in. If you don't like that and it's sore in the knees, you can just do one at a time. So bringing your butt feet in. Now, I want you to focus on drawing them away. So squeezing into the back of those hamstrings, the back of the bottom, and let those legs come down. Now take your hands out wider bend your mat if you can, coming into our Pilates press up, draw your chest down between your hands, squeezing into those shoulder blades, squeezing into the elbows, head in a nice neutral neck position, now hold this one if you can and draw those toes up, stay into your press up position or push up as you bring the legs in, and press down. So your option is to do one at a time, come up, bring the feet in, press down, and bring the feet in. Or stay in your press up, lift the toes up as you hold, one more, and release. Excellent, well done. Sitting back. And then just bring yourself up and take a shoulder stretch. You maybe felt that into those arms. Draw the arm across the body. And the other side. Excellent. And I want you to bring those hands down. Tuck those toes under and just coming into your down dog. And then into your child's pose. So forearms can be on the floor. Lift the bottom into your little dolphin, draw your knees down, and into your child's pose. Forearm on the floor, tuck under, lift up. And on this next one, lift up, come onto your hands, walking back, press the heels into the floor. Think about what side you've laying on, walk yourself all the way back. And if you are on this position, just swizzle those legs round. You've gone, I've forgotten, I haven't. I was just giving you something to do in the meantime in the middle. So we're on our side. I think that's maybe a little loud. I'll turn it down. Apologies, can't get the staff. So, legs are low. Okay. Remember, elbow can be underneath the shoulder like this. Lying down or coming up. And we're coming into our sideways scissors. And the great news is, folks, you're nearly there. You're doing amazing. Like, and remember, please still let me know if you're with me. Legs lifted up. Now we're thinking of our scissors. So hovering one leg forward and one leg back. Remember, those hips aren't being released to the Saturday night rock and roll yet. Keeping really stable hips. Pointing your toes, stretching, really in front of the body, behind the body, excellent. 
really feel this side of you and then cross and cross so crisscross one leg in front of the other squeezing those inner thighs together excellent really brilliant two one and release so either setting the legs down or hovering them off the floor draw the knees into the chest and away double leg side crunch position remember this hand can be off the floor if that helps you to work a little bit harder but don't do it if you did like me and your knees separated and release so bring your knees together push yourself up onto your side plank position knees connected heels connected and just lift your hips and lower so level one just on the knees you stay at that if you want to level two your leg is out to the side or level three you're staggering the legs one on the other just lifting and lowering or of course if you're really hardcore lifting up legs are stacked and dropping the hip for four three two and one well done oh my goodness just bring yourself into the center bring yourself with your knees into your chest just draw one knee you made it into your chest and lengthen the other one you were amazing just circle that ankle one direction and the other direction and then draw your hand to the outside of your thigh take your arm out palms facing up and just draw that leg across the body you can let the leg stretch out to the side and breathe oh how lovely is that then draw that knee back you can let it fall long draw the other knee into the chest just circle your ankle one direction and the other just point and flex point and flex and then just draw it across the body keeping the shoulder on the floor you can stretch it out to the other side and bring it back well done so coming into that full body stretch fingers and toes away think as we did in coming into our roll up either bending the knees tuck the head in towards the chest or have the legs straight come right up overhead flex the toes and come down draw the chin down towards the thighs think of lengthening the whole of that back And then soften your knees and just let your knees drop to one side of the body and then rolling on to your four point kneeling position tuck your little toes under and push yourself up pedaling one foot at a time walk your little hands back stay here for a little moment tuck your fingers underneath your toes and just rock forward and back like we did at the start. You can grab hold of your elbows and just focus on drawing your elbows. Just rock the body side to side, draw the shoulders away from the chest. And then soften your knees, release the arms and just slowly come up into your full stretch. So just think of drawing those arms out and away, draw them back, bring your feet into your little Pilates position like we did at the start, draw the knees out and press them together. If you want to, just bring the hands to the hips and just alternate as we did, remobilizing our ankles, remobilizing our knees, or if you want to, and hopefully you're feeling more centered, more balanced, longer and leaner. 
and then draw those arms up, just grab hold of one wrist and just lifting out of the ribcage, tilting over to one side of the body, coming up through centre, grab over to the other wrist and stretch. Just circle those wrists as you bring them down and change direction and then shake them up and shake them behind and give yourself a well earned curtsy by round of applause thank you so much let me know if you were with me today if you enjoyed that and stay safe keep washing your hands keep staying positive i miss you and i hope you miss me too in the person this is the next best thing see you soon bye have a good week